Starting an LLC in Puerto Rico might sound like a bunch of formal steps, but let me break it down for you in a way that feels like we're just chatting over a cup of coffee. Imagine you've got a brilliant business idea and you're ready to make it official in Puerto Rico. Here's how you turn that dream into reality step by step without the legal jargon getting in the way. First off, what's an LLC? Think of it as a protective bubble around your personal stuff, your car, house, savings. So if your business faces any tough times, your personal belongings are safe. Plus, it's flexible. You get to choose how you want to be taxed, which can save you some money. And by the way, if you would like to get help in starting your own LLC in Puerto Rico, then make sure to sign up with Northwest Registered Agents by clicking my affiliate link down in the description of this video. They're professionals and they'll be able to help you out with any questions you have. Plus, clicking on my link doesn't cost you anything extra and it helps me support the channel. And with that in mind, let's get started. Let's get started with these steps in forming your LLC. Number one, picking a name for your LLC. Think of naming your LLC as you're naming a pet. It's exciting, but needs some thought. Your business name has to be special and not already be taken by another business in Puerto Rico. It's like making sure your Instagram handle is unique. The name must end with LLC or its Spanish counterpart to show everyone it's a legit business with a protective bubble around it. If you thought of the perfect name but aren't quite ready to start your business, you can pay $75 to make sure nobody else snatches it for the next 120 days. This is like putting a hold on a concert ticket until you're sure you can go. Remember, choosing the right name is important because it's the first thing people will hear about your business. It's worth taking the time to come up with something that captures what your business is all about. Step number two, finding a registered agent. Imagine you have a friend who agrees to hang around your house just to sign for packages when you're not home. A registered agent does something similar for your LLC. They need to have an actual address in Puerto Rico, no PO boxes allowed, and be available during normal business hours to accept official documents for your business. This could be you, but think about whether you're usually available during the day. Using a professional service can be like having a reliable buddy who takes care of the boring stuff, ensuring you never miss important mail, even if you're on vacation. This step is crucial because if you miss a legal notice, it could cause big problems down the line. Step number three, filing your certificate of formation. This is the moment your business officially comes into existence. It's a bit like signing the birth certificate for your LLC. You'll need to fill out a form with all the details about your business, like its name, where it's located, and who's in charge. This form tells the Puerto Rico government, hey, we're here and we mean business. It costs $250, which is the price of making things official. You can file this online, which is super convenient, by mail or in person if you're feeling old school. This step is like the grand opening. Once it's done, your business is officially real. Number four, crafting and operating agreements. Now that your LLC is born, how do you decide how it's run? Well, this is where an operating agreement comes in. Think of it as the rule book for your business. It covers everything from how you split profits to what happens if someone wants to leave the business. It's an internal document, which means you keep it for your records and don't need to send it to the government. This step is crucial because it helps prevent misunderstandings among owners. It's setting the ground rules for how you play the game of business together. Step number five, getting an EIN. An employer identification number, EIN, is crucial because it's like your business's social security number. You need it for anything official like hiring people, opening a bank account, or dealing with taxes. Getting one is free and not too hard. You can apply right on the IRS website and it doesn't take long. If you don't have a social security number yourself, you'll need to fill out a form and mail it in, which is a bit slower. Once you have your EIN, keep it safe because you will use it a lot. Think of it as your business's passport number. Without it, you can't really travel through the world of business. It's the first big step in making your business legit in the eyes of the law and the tax man. Step number six, beneficial ownership information report. The government wants to know who really owns the business starting up. This is to keep things transparent and fight against money laundering and terrorism. To comply, you have to fill out a beneficial ownership information report. This report goes to FinCEN, a part of the US Department of Treasury. You'll list who owns and benefits from your LLC, which might just be you or it could include partners and major investors. It's a bit of extra work, but it's all online and it's becoming a standard part of starting a business. This step is about being open about who is behind the curtain, ensuring that everything about your business is clear and above board. While it might seem like a hassle, it's a good thing for the business world at large. 
Step number seven, opening a bank account. Having a bank account just for your LLC is super important. It's what keeps your personal money separate from your business money, which is a big deal legally and for taxes. To open one, you'll need your LLC's EIN and the paperwork from when you formed your LLC. Banks might also ask for an operating agreement if your LLC has more than one member. Having a business bank account makes you look professional and helps you track your business's money separately. It's also necessary for accepting payments and paying bills. Plus, if there's ever a question about your LLC's finances, having a separate account makes everything clearer and simpler. This step is like setting up a safe space for your business's money to grow. Step number eight, funding the LLC. Your LLC needs some money or assets to start doing whatever it's going to do. This could be as simple as each member putting in some cash or as complex as transferring property or equipment into the business's name. How much and what kind of contribution each member makes should be agreed upon and written down, usually in the operating agreement. This initial funding is what gets your business off the ground. It might be used for buying supplies, marketing, or just keeping the lights on while you get started. Remember, how you fund the LLC affects your taxes and how profits and losses are shared. So it's important to get this step right and make sure everyone understands and agrees. It's the fuel in your business's tank, so to speak. Step number nine, file state reports and taxes. Every year, your LLC needs to check in with the Puerto Rico government. You'll file an annual statement and pay a $150 fee. This isn't just busy work, it's how you keep your LLC in good standing. The report updates the state on any changes in your business, like addresses or management. Even if nothing has changed, you still have to file it. Think of it as your annual, hello, we're still here, to the government. Staying on top of this requirement keeps your business legal and avoids penalties. It's a small chore once a year that keeps your business healthy and ready for whatever comes next. And there you have it. Starting your LLC in Puerto Rico, broken down into digestible steps. Each stage is a stepping stone towards turning your vision into a legitimate, thriving business. Take each step at your own pace, ensuring you understand and complete each task thoroughly. Before you know it, you'll be the proud owner of a Puerto Rican LLC, ready to take on the business world. And don't forget that if you would like to get help in starting your own LLC in Puerto Rico, you can sign up with Northwest Registered Agent by clicking my affiliate link down in the description of this video. They're professionals and they'll be able to help you out with any question you have. Plus, clicking on my link doesn't cost you anything extra and it helps me support the channel. And with that in mind, thank you so much for watching this video. Till next time.